Good evening, everybody. We are going to do a brisket point today. Here I've got about three pounds, just under. Got my salt, pepper, garlic, equal parts. I'm using a tablespoon of each. And then to that, I'm gonna add in some minced onion, dried minced onion, some chili powder for a little bit of heat, but not too much. And then some granulated garlic. And then two teaspoons of paprika. This red is going to really add to the color. I'm going to let this thing marinate overnight, but really you need at least an hour. More, in my opinion, is better. Let that salt really drive in the flavors. As a binding agent, and it, the spices in the mustard is going to pull out some of those flavors as well. Next, we're gonna generously coat, put it back in its butcher paper, and let it marinate overnight. We're going for a pretty long burn, so do make sure that your hopper is filled if you're using a pellet grill. We're just gonna fill it up, top it off, turn it on, get this thing up to temp. 250, we're looking at about maybe a five, six hour burn. What pellets do you use? I'm gonna use an apple blend this time. It's about 14 hours later. This thing has been in the fridge, marinating, sucking up all them good herbs and spices. We're gonna take our probe and stick it in towards the biggest portion. Do set up a timer, get this thing going. I'm gonna set it for five hours. I also have the probe in there with the nice Wi-Fi feature, so it's gonna ding me and I can check on it wherever I might be. Okay, that it's nowhere near the five hours that I thought. Looks like it's only taken three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this guy off, we're gonna wrap it up in some butcher paper and then put it back on for say another hour. So we've wrapped our brisket into some butcher paper we're going to throw it back on the smoker for about another hour do make sure that you put in a probe that way you can make sure that you keep at that temperature that you're looking for i'm looking for 165 right now it's about 160. we just pulled our brisket point off the smoker and just like your steak you want to let your meat rest give it 45 minutes or so I know it's tempting to dig into this thing. You'll probably be okay, but avoid the temptation. Let the meat settle, soak in all those juices, and we'll look at it here shortly. Yeah. Let's dig into it. Let's get a close up of this guy. This looks and smells amazing. All them juices. We'll want to capture all that. So if you have a little bowl, Let's capture that. Let's just cut off a bit here and see how she is on the inside. Can we see how juicy she is? So good. All right, so Texas style brisket, not too bad, but it does take a little bit of time. We want to do that low and slow burn. We got enough here to feed the family for a good, oh, I don't know, four, maybe five meals, depending on how much we go crazy with it. It's a great addition to your week, weekend, party, what have you. Hope you enjoy. The rub's fantastic, it tastes fantastic. So until next time, stay relaxed, keep on living.